Bruh, 25-point blowout, Neek. I mean, both of you predicted that the Celtics would get a victory tonight, but, but Neek, we didn't see this type of victory, did we? No, I thought it would be more of a competitive game, but Boston came out on a mission, and they hit them early, even though the game was, it was a little close in the beginning, but the Celtics pulled away by halftime, and they really won the game in the first half. Yeah, they did. Be what? I mean, it's ridiculous. We see what they always talk about, the 50-40-90 the club as far as the shooters. The Celtics shot 50, 50, 90 tonight, 50 from the field, 50 from three, 90 percent from the free throw line. They just dominated offensively, but defensively also. Yeah, and offensively, they, they made some adjustments. They, they understood mm -hmm. what Miami was doing to them in the second half as far as loading up. I think getting Marcus mm -hmm. Smart back obviously helped um, getting Al Horford back. And then at the same time, they cut down those turnovers and in that first game, uh, they only had five turnovers in the second half. Look at this game right here. They had 28 for the game, only nine. Uh, they had 28 assists for the game, only nine turnovers. And that was key. They understood where the pressure was coming from, and their players made big-time plays, whether it was Brown, Smart, or Tatum. Those guys delivered tonight. And sometimes it was scoring, sometimes it was assist. Man, the backcourt for Boston, a combined 48 points. But Marcus Smart coming back for the first time in this series. Three points away from his playoff career high, finishes with 24, a, a playoff career high, 12 assists. Nick, only one turnover, and defensively he was all over the floor. But again, we talked about earlier how Marcus Smart comes on the floor, he can control the game yeah. and, you know, and, and add stupidity from a defensive standpoint. So he did a good job out of the gate on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, he had multiple looks. It was Marcus Smart controlling the game and giving the Celtics a chance to win this game in dramatic fashion. So I thought he and Al Horford definitely was two of the keys in that game, even though you know the main two and Brown and Tatum. They're going to score a lot of points. But it's those two guys who really came into this game focused, ready to play, and they had a big, state, a big mark on this game. And then you look at guys, too, the other support, like Williams, who nice comeback game for him as well. And so it was contagious throughout the whole team. So you got to get the Celtics a lot of credit. Like you said, B, we thought they, they would get this game, but we didn't think they would get it like this. <laughs> nah, I definitely think they'd get it like this. And, and to a certain degree, yeah. you know, you know how it is in the playoffs. Human nature kicks in. Miami has that, that big win. They're feeling good. Mm -hmm. They come into this game. They relaxed a little bit. Mm -hmm. They relaxed yeah. just, just a little bit. And Boston came out there with a little bit more umph. They, 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 Boston understood they got embarrassed. They said, we want to give you a little bit of taste. Of it that. wasn't the Miami team that I've seen so far in the playoff tonight. Didn't have the same type of swag, same type of energy and toughness throughout the game. And I thought the Celtics did what they had to do from a physical standpoint. They came out and rushed, roughed them up a little bit. Marcus Martin, who's always taking the challenge. And yes. so they took them out of their, their game plan and they wasn't able to come back